So yeah, that's uh, how we're gonna start the day. We are doing North and South Kinsmen. There's a sign for water. We're not doing the Pemi Trail, Lonesome Lake Trail, following Patrick. And uh, I guess if at the end of the day we have energy still, we'll maybe see about doing cannon. But I've already done that, so. First mile of this looks like it's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty steep before you get like a little mild break from it. But we'll see. It's definitely going pretty vertical already, so. No time to ease into it. Well, Patrick exceeded the weight limit and uh, broke that bridge. Good job. Yeah. Ah, I'm just kidding. It's obviously somebody else that, that did that. Also, kidding. Who knows? The bridge likely died of natural causes. Patrick has warned me about a an enormous spider that nearly ended his life. And there it is. I see it. A little speck there. So we're headed to uh, the Lonesome Lake Trail, not the Kinsman Ridge Trail um, for this particular hike. It kind of sucks to have it, Andrew. I actually had to do the research myself this morning as far as what trail to take. So hopefully we don't get lost. Otherwise I might have to phone him in for a consult as, as to how the hell I get out of here. Should be pretty straightforward. Well, we've gone about a little over a half mile. It's been quite steep so far. Patrick is a uh, breakfast is kind of hindering his ability to hike in the manner in which he would like to it happens but it's okay he'll be all right we'll get through it my shoes untied gotta fix that well we're just taking a little little breath up here we're not quite to that lonesome lake hut yet and another probably quarter of a mile or so before we're off this initial uh pitch yeah feeling pretty good actually not not too tired not too winded also not trying to set any speed records today oh no oh well, that's what you get for sitting on a, a wet rock. Well, we flattened out quite a bit, and uh, looks like we're coming up onto this lake. A lonesome lake, which is way up here in the woods, in the mountains. Take a little peek at that. The trail junction coming up over here. A couple weeks ago, did uh, Mount Air about at a Tupper Lake, and uh, it was a good little simulation of what we just did. Basically, a mile of straight elevation gain. Felt pretty good then. Felt pretty good now. So, all things considered, I haven't got too too out of shape. Fish and Jimmy Trail, that is where we are, where we're headed, so. Yeah, that way. What's that way? I don't see any arrows. Oh, that's a lake. Oh. Yeah, no, we're taking, we're going to the Fish and Jimmy Trail, which looks like it's the Appalachian Trail, which is neat. All right. 
Well, going in, going back on the AT, I guess. Fishing Jimmy Trail, but this is this is really nice. A lonesome lake. It's too bad we didn't bring up the uh, trout rods because. I think our licenses are good for another like three hours. <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, I wonder if those are actually the mountains right there. I don't know. Well, I haven't looked at the map in a little bit, but it's been going pretty flat for a little bit, and uh, I think you're gonna start ascending again. This looks very ascendy full. I made that up. It's not a word. Not too bad. Yay! I did it. Expert hiker, yay. Whoa. We are getting uh, quite uh, scrambly. I'm gonna try to do this without the best time for dropping the camera. It's all right, anything from my 15 views. <laughs> Including fracturing my spine. <laughs> Look, it's trash. Found some more Appalachian Trail gold. Pop-tart trash. Pop-tart, let's uh... Is this a s'more pop -tart? Let's see, what? Strawby. <laughs> It doesn't say what flavor. It doesn't make me think any more or less of you for leaving this out in the woods. But, uh... I hope it, if it was s'mores flavored, I, I can at least give him some sort of forgiveness. Yeah. But if it's like that cardboard strawberry flavor, I'm not... Yeah, that's... I used to do jail time. Well... Trail's in good shape, but steep. <laughs> I said the trail's in good shape, but it's steep. We've reached the uh, the sucky part. I mean, I guess that's just completely subjective. The difficult part. Maybe not the sucky part, but yeah. So. I'll be doing this for the next mile in small change. Oh, look at that. I don't know how they did that. Some sort of expensive equipment, I presume. Okay. I'm gonna put my head down and go. Well, forest protection area, Kinsman Pond campsite. Hi, Patrick. And, uh, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty steep the last little bit here, so we're not quite up there yet, but less than a mile we go, so that's a good thing. All right, we're at a four-way intersection. We want Kinsman Ridge Trail, so Appalachian Trail, we're going that way. If we wanted to go do Cannon, we could go that way afterwards. I don't think we're going to do that, but north and south Kinsman <laughs> are the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are the targets today so uh, signs about a watershed area anyway let's go we get about a half mile to the first summit shouldn't be too big of a deal shouldn't be too much worse than anything we were just doing so uh, I don't know what kind of review we're gonna get though it's awfully overcast and uh, Foggy and cloudy, so maybe a viewless day. That's okay. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, we're almost there, I think. Um, I'm ascending fairly consistently still, but. It looks like kind of reaching a height of land, so. Whew. Anyway, I think I'll see up top. Top just doesn't want to get here. 
summit just I think it's actually moving away that's all right this is just in the mind games that happen when you're in the mountains how you doing Oh, that's good. We're almost there. Our heavily clouded view of everything. Yeah, fog's rolling in pretty thick. Nice little rock scramble near the summit. Patrick is gonna try to traverse this without severely injuring himself. Yeah, it was a little. So it was a little tricky coming up there. There we go. And here's our lovely uh, view of absolutely nothing. So that's okay. Mountains and mountains. <laughs> it does keep going forever. It seems like it's all right. Well, we're kind of over here looking for the summit marker because. I don't see any land higher than what we're at, and uh, yeah, but there's a little lookout there. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I'm looking for something and I'm not seeing anything, so do you see anything? Yeah, let's see what we're did I miss something? Well, North Kinsman might be the worst marked summit I've ever seen in my entire life. So, congratulations on holding that distinction. I don't see anything here indicating that this is the summit of the mountain. So I'm gonna go check out that little lookout. And I'm gonna assume we're Pretty much on top. So I don't know how else to possibly take this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's hop down here. Ugh, treachery. More, more treachery. Ugh. I'm sure this would be great on a non-cloudy day. You're right about this. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. This has got to be the North Kinsman Summit because I don't know what else it could possibly be. <laughs> there we are into Franconia Notch, which I'm sure on a normal day would be gorgeous. But the sun quite, hasn't quite burned these clouds off. Maybe on the way back, they'll it'll clear up enough. But we're gonna sit down, have a bite, and uh, enjoy what I presume is the summit of North Kinsman. Well, that was just an enjoyable summit experience on North Kinsman. You're now headed to South Kinsman, which is another eight tenths of a mile. From here, clouds parted just in time for us too, so that was quite nice, actually. Anyway, I'm gonna down climb now for about four tenths before we kind of go back up again. So I'm gonna put this way so we can hop on all these rocks and I don't injure myself. Look at that. Look at that. Nice little lookout point. Ooh, there's a little lingonberry over here. Look at all that. That's where we just came from. Well, it looks like more clouds are rolling in, so. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, two tenths to go. Almost there. 
almost to South Kinsman, second peak of the day as they re-pocket Patrick's water, which has proven to be a monumental task. I don't know if I can, if I can do this. Um, well, oh, there we go. We got it in there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just get up there. It's been a fun day. Well, this looks promising. Look in summity. Like her. Just about here. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Actually, I think it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's taller. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it's something, but I don't think it's the summit. It just looks taller. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think that's got to be the summit. Over there. If not, then maybe we just walked an extra few feet for no reason. But yeah, that definitely looks like a summit over there. I'm gonna put this away while I do this. I see a cairn. That means we're here. Nice. Looks like we're gonna get a view too. B-E-A-U-T-F-O. Alright. Well, it's a big flat summit. It's a nice rock pile. So, South Kinsman. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Bugs are coming out. But, that's right. I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit more. Ingest some trail mix. And, uh. Go back out the way we came. North and South Kinsman. Uh, it was pretty nice hike. When the weather cleared up at top, it was definitely nice on the summit. The trail itself, pretty well maintained. It's a large portion of it was the Appalachian Trail, so uh, they take care of it pretty well. A lot of uh, a lot of steps in, in there to, to help you out. I mean, 
I would give it average difficulty, you know, four or five. It wasn't too bad. Just uh, just under 10 miles. And then for the views at the top, uh, North Kinsman is probably a little better than South. Um, neither of them were, you know, otherworldly, but I, North Kinsman probably gets a seven out of 10 and South Kinsman probably gets a six out of 10. It's just like flat. Yeah, yeah, it's just a big flat summit, so you don't have a lot of uh, prominence to kind of see the whole area, but still I'll give you something. There's a nice uh, cairn up there <laughs> that's been crafted into somewhat of a throne or a chair. Oh, you said a Karen up there? Yeah. No, no, it's not <laughs> what I said, but uh, yeah, it's uh, quite nice. Recommend. Good day. And now we're going to go eat. So.